Who said this? I was so frustrated with the arguing yesterday that I accidentally walked into the screen door from the balcony. No more stupid and <laughs> reckless feel- arguments. It's in bad taste and poor style as a businesswoman. Who said that? Oh, so you're purporting to be her property manager. No, ma'am. I'm uh, just you doing did, her a favor. Did, did you sign that lease where you said property I manager? I co-signed it with So you. you are purporting to be a property manager. And if you put those words on that lease... I did not write the lease, ma'am. It was just Who wrote page. property manager on the lease? She did. I didn't write anything. Ma'am, didn't you tell me that you'd never seen that lease? <laughs> I wasn't there. You, I never signed anything. You've never anything. seen that. Never. And you never signed it. So here's what I think happened. I think she was gone. I think you moved in. And then you said, I'm going to be here. And you're going to pay me $2,000 to leave. Because I talked to a lawyer, and I don't think you can evict me. So I'm just going to squat. I think you squatted. I think that you decided what you were going to pay when she said, yeah. why are you only giving me $720? It was you, prorated rent, Your Honor. That you decided on. No. That you. We decided together. No I paid her. Stop interrupting me. Okay. I paid her in full at the time of us meeting. I need you to stop talking. Well, I want to get the facts straight. I need you to stop talking. Let's go here. Shanti, I just spoke to my lawyer. He said I have rights legally because I'm disabled and my son lives here. If you wish me to move out, you'll need to pay me $2,000. And you sent that text message on what day, sir? I don't know. I'm sure you don't. It's funny how now you don't. But, no, no, no. I did quiet. say that. You're a little Absolutely, more quiet. Absolutely, I did say that. Come- no. So let's go back to May 9th. Okay. Good evening, Shanti. I read your text messages from earlier, and I understand that you wish to rent me the apartment for one month to see if I can follow your rules and your guidelines. Right. I'll give you 720 for the rent. Her response. Why is it 720? I don't like how you pay me now a 720. Please cancel. So you decided unilaterally that you were going to prorate. She was never okay with it. She did not accept your terms. And then you said, well, you know what? I'm not leaving. You're going to have to pay me $2,000. Incorrect. So what's incorrect? At the time of my move-in, she paid herself with my cell phone and got direct payment she, for what she, she asked for. That. I have asked I'm you I'm just letting you know times. this is what occurred. I have asked you multiple times okay. to show me what Zelle payment corresponded to the it's security in the exhibit. deposit. It's in the exhibit. Because seven, then later on, are you done? Go ahead. Oh, thank you for your permission. Yes, you have a horrible attitude. Go ahead. I do? Yes, you do. Really? You're disrespectful. There was no disrespect at all. I did whatever she wanted. If you were disrespecting me like this in this forum, I can only imagine what she did to her in her house. When are you, you kidding said, me? I'm not moving out unless you pay me $2,000. When you are a victim of fraudulent activity. What fraudulent okay? activity? Well, first of all, she brought me in on I the premises. all I see now is somebody who no. squatted in somebody's no. house. No, ma'am. She was paid in full. You don't get full. to make up the rules. She was paid in full at the entrance of this agreement. And Mr. Walker was to execute it because she didn't have her lease ready. It's yep. her lease. If her yes. lease isn't ready, then you have no business moving in. She took my money. She returned your money. We yeah, saw the text message. a couple message. days later, Your Honor. <laughs> I've yes, got sir. quite enough from you.